Hello, this is Jay from Cucumber Shop, and today uh, I believe this may be the last of my Parthenocarpic cucumber videos. So we'll see what ended up okay. So the Bay Alpha, that produced some fruit in a previous video, I showed that. Um, the China Jade here, we have right here, produced uh, a, a fruit uh, later on. I believe um, part of the reason it produced fruit was it was later on and also I shook shook the pollen a bit. So I think that that helped, but I'm not exactly sure. So there you have it. Um, but it did eventually produce a fruit. Not a great looking one, but um, the plants here are kind of stressed from not enough water or whatnot. I don't know. They can only last in these hydroponic baskets for so long, um, just the way they are. Um, here is my diva, finally produced. Took a lot of flowers, but finally we got some um, fruit set without pollination. Finally set. Um, looking here, uh, English Telegraph. This is the first fruit right here. Uh, no set yet. Uh, no set here yet. It doesn't look like it's gonna set, it's turning light. So, um, no parthenocarpic tendencies for English Telegraph yet. Uh, English Telegraph improved is over there. Uh, hasn't really had a chance to set too much. Although this looks like a flower that did not set. Um, in any case, um, Monica produced a ton of female flowers. Uh, mostly this variety, if you can see, it's mostly uh, gynaceous. I mean, set some some male flowers, but not many. But here, look, one flower, one female flower finally uh, produced, set set fruit. I'm pretty sure I shook this one as well, and that's why it did that. Um, usually, that's not the case with normal cucumbers, but I mean, not normally that you'd shake them. That's like tomatoes or something, uh, some other um, plants that have perfect flowers, but. Uh, I don't know if it was because I shook it or not, but I tried shaking them for a sec here. And then over here we have Muncher. Muncher, unfortunately, um, continuing to produce fruit, not setting fruit. A friend of mine told me that uh, Muncher does produce parthenocarpic fruit, but um, I must not have the correct strain. I don't know. You know, there's multiple companies that offer muncher and uh, perhaps I just don't have the right strain. Uh, so you long. Um, so far no no fruit set. Um, you know female fruit all aborted. Um, Seacum never really got any fruit. Um, here's the end of the plant. A whole bunch of male flowers. Um, there may be a female flower in there somewhere. It did not set fruit. And then over here is the Melanchella Galatina um, that set fruit. This was my first one to set fruit. So that's it for my Parthenocarpic trial. Um, just showing off this before um, I start pulling some plants out. Um, just wanted to find out what was actually Parthenocarpic versus not. Uh, I hope this helps you. Um, and know that even if they're Parthenocarpic, um, according to this trial, it doesn't mean that uh, they're 100% parthenocarpic within the population. So you may get some that are not. And also, it doesn't mean that they'll be parthenocarpic right away. Which means that you may have um, three, four, five fruit that don't set uh, in the greenhouse conditions, in indoor conditions, until later. So, just some things to consider. Um, again, this is Jay from Cucumber Shop. I hope you enjoyed. And happy gardening.